members. It's the scheduled start time of the meeting and we have a quorum. I call to order the meeting. Item 1 on the agenda, confirmation of minutes of meeting. Minutes of the 33rd meeting held on the 20th of August 2021. The minutes have been forwarded to members before the meetings. So far, members have not proposed any amendments to the uh, minutes. Can I con ask, invite members to confirm the minutes, please? Minutes confirmed. Item 2 on the agenda matters rising. Report by the Chairman on the meeting with the Chief Secretary for Administration. There is nothing special to report today. Item 3. Business arising from previous Council meetings. Legal Service Division report on subsidiary legislation gazetted on the 20th of August 2021. Can I invite the legal advisor to take us through the report briefly? Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. Our report is in paper number LS 111-20-21. The report covers 12 items of subsidiary legislation in five parts. Part 1. These are two items of substitute legislation relating to rural representative election. The purpose is to enhance the to improve the rural representative election and also uh, to align the arrangements for this election with other public elections. The uh, uh, in major amendments include um, the, for the provisional register or final register, it will only be uh, it, uh, it could only be inspected by specified persons. And also, for new applications of voter registration, address proof needs to be produced. And also, the uh, director of home affairs will be empowered to designate or to require certain premises to be used as accounting or polling stations. And also. The uh, presiding officer of polling stations are empowered to make special arrangements for persons uh, in with in need, uh, such as the elderly persons, uh, um, the, the disabled persons, and so on. And then uh, the, there is also a change uh, ch uh, amendment to the um, relevant forms to pro enhance protection of personal data. The two items uh, come into operation on the 1st of January 2022. We're still studying the relevant um, drafts, uh, so we'll report again if necessary. On the LNs 10162 and 163 members, you wish to form a subcommittee. Please continue. Part 2. It's a piece of subsidy legislation to do with uh, the construction, maintenance and equipment of light buses. Uh, this is LN164, Road Traffic Construction and Maintenance Vehicles Amendment Regulation 2021. Uh, this provides that a driver's store of a light bus could be used as an emergent exit. The condition is that uh, there has to be an emergency window and at least one escape hatch. So this will allow more flexibility for the design of emergency exit for of light buses. And at the same time, it will align the safety standards uh, with uh, other buses with emergency doors. Yeah. Um, one uh, is also to uh, repeal outdated provisions. The panel on transport was consulted on the 19th of February this year. The members have no objection. The LN164 comes into operation on the 15th of uh, October 2021. Members, do you wish to form a both committee, uh, subcommittee on LN164? No, please continue. Part 3. Five items of subsidiary legislation. Uh, these are to tie in with the commissioning of the third runway at the Hong Kong International Airport in 2022. LM165 and 162, uh, 166. Uh, these are made under the Airport Authority Ordinance. Um, this is to spe specify the new boundaries of the restricted area in the light of the commissioning of the third runway. So this will include the uh, third runway and also uh, the intermodal transfer terminal as well uh, um, vehicular bridge and also the Hong Kong boundary crossing facility staging area. So these areas will become restricted areas. Uh, depending on the phases of the completion of reference facilities, uh, different provisions will come into operation starting from April 2022.
Please refer to the details in uh, paragraph 17 of the report. LN 167 and 168, they are made uh, under Hong Kong Airport Constru Control of Obstructions Ordinance. Again, this is to prepare for the commissioning of the third runway. Uh, there will be new height res airport re height restrictions uh, and, and also uh, certain uh, because of the new airport uh, air, uh, airport height restrictions, so um, the, um, there there is an obsolete um, um, regulation that could be appealed. Uh, the LM one six eight one six seven only will come into operation on the thirty first of May. LM one seven three uh, is made under shipping and port control regulations. The um, the effect is that nav vessels navigating to or through the adjusted boundaries will be subject to certain restrictions. Uh, this um, uh, is about uh, both the height restrictions and entry restrictions. LN 173 comes into operation on the 31st of May this year. Now, for these uh, items of legislation in relation to the commission of the third runway, the panel on economic development was consulted on the 26th of April. Members uh, raised no objections to the pro legislative proposals. Uh, for LN. 165, 166, 167, 168, and 173. Members, do you wish to form a subcommittee? No. Then please continue. Part 4. Uh, destination of no smoking areas, LM169. Designates three public transport facility, uh, 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 tran uh, um, three bus interchanges uh, as no um, smoking areas. And one se LM172 designates two new public transport facilities as no smoking areas. It's also to update the details of four existing PTFs which are no smoking areas. For the um, locations of these um, uh, no smoking areas, please refer to paragraphs 30 and 31 of our report. LN 169 and 172 will come into operation on the 31st of December 2021. Thank you. On uh, LN 169 and 172 members, do you wish to form a subcommittee? No, please continue. Last part. Two pieces of subsidy legislation do with the civil uh, proceedings. LN170 and 171 amend ru uh, the rules of High Court and rules of the District Court so that the uh, summary judgment um, uh, mechanism would apply to certain uh, uh, civil claims in relation to fraud. So um, the amendments are to improve upon the, the procedures for the High Court and Civil Court in such proceedings. Uh, th this is because um, there's a relevant judgment uh, earlier on, and so this is um, a suggestion made arising from that case. Now the Bar Association and the Law Society were consulted on the legislative proposals, and they've indicated support to the Proposal. The two LNs come into operation on the 1st of December 2021. So, this is our report on the subsidy legislation tabled or gazetted on the 20th of uh, August. Members, do you wish to form a subcommittee on LN 170 and 171? If I may remind members, if members uh, wish to make move amendments, the deadline is the council meeting of the 15th of September or the council meeting of the 13th of October if extended by resolution. Item 4. Further business for the council meeting of the 1st of September 2021. A laying of papers on the pay table of the council. Report number 26 stroke 20 to 21 of the House Committee on consideration of subsidiary legislation and other instruments. This report covers one item. The deadline for amendment will expire uh, at the Council meeting of the 1st of this September. No members have indicated a wish to speak. B. Government bills uh, first and reading and second reading debate to be adjourned. One, Legislative Council disciplinary sanctions and remote sitting miscellaneous amendments bill 2021. Two, Firm censorship amendment bill 2021. The House Committee will consider these two bills at this meeting on the 3rd of September. 
item number five, the Chief Executive's question time on the 8th of September 2021. The Chief Executive's question time will be held from 11 to 11.30 a.m. on the 8th of September. The regular council meeting will start as soon as the Chief Executive's question time ends. Item six. This is for the council meeting of the 8th of September 2021. Eight questions. The list of members allocated slots has been forwarded to members. B. Government bill first reading and second reading debate to be adjourned. No notice has been received yet. C. Government motion. No notice has been received yet. Members' motion. D. Um, motion on mending the social rift and fostering social cohesion to be moved by Dr. Priscilla Lam. Please note, members. Dr. Junius Ho, who's been allotted a slot uh, to move a motion uh, at the meeting on the 9th, 8th of September, has um, uh, given notice to withdraw his um, notice. So there, we, there, there will be just one uh, motion debate at this meeting. If members wish to move amendments to the motion, the deadline is the 1st of September, Wednesday. 1st of September. Reports of... Um, Bills, committees, and subcommittees, uh, or rather, um, the House uh, report of the House Committee on Consideration of Substitute Legislation and Other Instruments, uh, the deadline for which will expire at the Council meeting of the 8th of September. There are five items. If members wish to speak, uh, please inform the clerk by the 5 p.m. on the 31st of August, Tuesday. Bill, reports of bills, committees, and subcommittees. Report of the, the subcommittee on subsidy legislation to regulate the operation of small unmanned aircraft. I invite Mr. Wang Ting Kong, the chairman, to speak. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Chair. As the existing civil aviation legislation is not specifically designed for small unmanned aircraft (SUA), the administration proposes to introduce a customized and self-contained legislative framework under the Civil Aviation Ordinance Cap 44A to regulate the operation of SUA. The subcommittee has held two meetings to examine the details of the reference of civil legislation and the new regulatory regime. Members welcomed the regulation of SUA to safeguard public and aviation safety. Some members raised concerns about the impact of the new regulatory regime on the use of SUA by different sectors and industries. They called on the administration to provide flexibility in the regime to cater for different operational needs. Members also expressed concerns about the use of SUA in busy urban areas, which may pose danger to the public. The administration advised that flexibility had been built into the new regulatory regime to allow the operation of different types of SUA on the premise that aviation and public safety would not be compromised. Before the commencement of the relevant provisions, the administration will liaise with the relevant sectors to formulate safety requirement documents and specific guidelines, and will also update the Legislative Council on the progress of its work. The deliberations of the subcommittee are detailed in the report, which members are invited to note. Most members of the subcommittee express support for the relevant subsidiary legislation. The subcommittee will not move any amendments to the subsidiary legislation. Thank you, Mr. Wong Ting Kong. Now, for the five items of subsidiary legislation considered by the subcommittee, the deadline for amendment is the council meeting of the 8th of September. If members wish to move amendment, the deadline for giving notice is well, the 1st of September, Wednesday. Item 8, position of bills, committees, and subcommittees. As at the 26th of August, Thursday, there were in action 11 bills committee five subcommittees under the House Committee, and seven subcommittees on policy issues under panels. Item 9, any other business? There's nothing under any other business. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you.